Forest Carbon manages a 23,000 hectare peatland restoration project in South Sumatra, Indonesia. After travel restrictions were tightened during the 2020 pandemic, project monitoring and site visits became a real challenge. External auditors were unable to visit the area, making it difficult to verify project impact under the Verified Carbon Standard and Climate Community and Biodiversity Standard. As the world began to adapt to the global crisis, project partners Forest Carbon and Global Alam Lestari looked to technology to remotely monitor the Sumatra Merang peatland project. Through a collaboration with technology startup Sustainability Tech, the team developed and tested a dashboard tool to monitor the project. The tool combines incoming data from satellite and Internet of Things sensors deployed across the project area. This sensor network is now deployed at over 70 locations across the project, spanning an area over three and a half times the size of Manhattan. The dashboard sends daily updates to management teams, external verifiers, and clients to track forest regeneration across the ecosystem in real time. The sensors, designed in-house by Sustainability Tech, verify that these critical wetland areas are retaining more water from rehabilitation efforts. Infrared smoke detection cameras also support rapid response if any fires occur. The dashboard also provides tree cover loss analysis, providing data layers to demonstrate the impact of the project. This layer shows us that before conservation activities began in 2016, the area suffered major deforestation from fire events and timber extraction. The dashboard also supports fire risk assessment by providing fire history data and hotspot notifications. Prior to the Sumatra Merang peatland project, there were consistent fires as seen in the snapshot from 2009 to 2015. Now, in the period from 2016 to the present, the dashboard shows that fire occurrence has reduced significantly within the borders of the project. Fires have also decreased in surrounding forest areas as the project supports community members with fire brigades, monitoring, and training. Canals were excavated to harvest timber before the project, draining the water from the peatland area. This drainage causes the peatland to dry out and releases greenhouse gases. We can see the canal network that drained the area in this layer, representing extensive degradation before the project. In 2018, the Sumatra Merang peatland project began a major dam construction effort to bring water back to these degraded wetland areas, constructing over 188 peatland compaction dams. The sensors provide critical data on the hydrological interventions by monitoring the change in water table levels. Each sensor uses an ultrasound device connected to a long-range communications platform that transmits data to the project dashboard. The results from project interventions can be seen from space, which show the forest is regenerating each year. Regeneration is important for the communities that rely on the project area and for the many species that inhabit the landscape. Staff can track biodiversity trends using camera traps in the forest areas across the site. Each day, these cameras capture the unique endangered species in the project, including the Sumatran tiger. Forest Carbon's collaboration with Sustainability Tech improves decision-making for project managers. This low-cost technology package also provides a robust data set 
for external verifiers. Using this tool, Forest Carbon achieved a fully remote audit of the Sumatra Morang peatland project in 2020. Taken to scale, this dashboard solution can be used by forest restoration and conservation projects around the world. By solving a remote monitoring challenge, Forest Carbon and Sustainability Tech have ultimately established a way to increase transparency and build trust in project outcomes. <laughs>